Hello everyone, how's it going? Billy Ballgame here, back with another video. On this channel, I'm just a dude who loves to talk about baseball cards. And this is kind of going to be a bonus video this week. Uh, it's Sunday, September 15th as I'm filming this video. I don't know if I'll get this out today or tomorrow. But uh, my fam and I today went to back to the antique, antique store. So... Um, a few let's see like two months ago I did a video from there and a little bit before that um, we go to this antique store you know every few months or so usually um, and today my wife was looking for like cool Halloween stuff like she likes blow molds and like spooky ho Halloween decoration type stuff and of course I was I went looking for baseball cards and I found a lot today so I didn't film video at the antique store because I'm horrible at that and I always forget for some reason but I I did pick up some really cool stuff today I think and really I probably could have spent four or five hundred dollars there on baseball cards easy like the main baseball card dealer that has booths spread all throughout the antique store had up up front in his case for some reason they're always more expensive there i guess his rent is more expensive it's in the air conditioned part up front it's in a locked case so his prices are a little bit higher there but up front he had a box of 84 tops uh, i think it was 300 bucks he had a box of 87 Fleer, which I think that was there last time I shot video there. Uh, he had a few hoops, boxes, um, different stuff like that. But then at one of the places in the back, I managed to pick up quite a bit of stuff. So you can probably see behind me, I got a box of 1990 score baseball. You know I'm looking for the Bo Jackson football pad with the bat on his shoulder out of that set. Uh, box of 89 Don Russ, which I have a, a boatload of, but I just can't help myself whenever I see it. I got a box of the first year of Upper Deck Hockey. I think it's 90-91. Uh, and then a box of 1990 Bowman. So I don't have a lot of 1990 Bowman for some reason. I know I remember selling a lot of the bigger rookies at the card shop back when like those first came out or maybe the next year or two but but for some reason excuse me I don't have a lot of those he also had a box of 1991 Bowman which I thought about picking up he had um, let me see an 87 tops vending box case I think it was like 299 so 300 bucks um, he had a like boxes of 90 upper deck 91 92 93 upper deck um some like 1990 score football different stuff like that 1990 donruss like i could have spent a whole lot of money today so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to i got a, a rack pack of 1994 tops that I'm gonna rip for the gold cards to see what what kind of gold cards I pull out of it. And then I think what I'm gonna do with the rest of these boxes is I'm gonna rip one of each pack, uh, one pack of each box today on this video. And then probably what I'll do is the rest of them I'll just display up here on my shelf. And then whenever I get in the mood to, um, I'll rip a pack. So I might, you know be ripping a junk wax pack at the front of all my videos and until I run out or until I buy more but the kind of the idea of the setup for that corner back there is I wanted it to look like a card shop and that's why I have these display cases and all that stuff the problem with that is is every time I get boxes I just go ham and rip the entire box in one sitting so I'm gonna try to maintain a little bit of self-discipline which is hard for me when it comes to ripping packs but leave them up here and then that way every once in a while I have packs to rip just whenever I feel like it so I'm gonna go ahead pause this flip everything around and then I'll rip into a few packs so I'll be right back with you 
All right, so I'm back. I'm going to start rip, ripping into a pa some packs. So here's the grocery pack or rack pack, whatever you want to call it. 1994 top Series 2. Um, I wasn't ripping a whole lot in 94. Like, that's the year I graduated high school. So I was uh, focusing on other things <laughs> to spend my money on. And usually a girl was involved of some sort. So... I don't have a whole lot of these. I don't know what series Ken Griffey Jr. is in. Let me uh, let me pause this real quick. Well, actually, I'll just go ahead and do it. Let me. Uh, I'm having a little hard time getting into this pack. So I don't know again what series or who is in series two, because again I wasn't opening a whole lot of these in in 94 but i'm hoping for some cool gold cards is really the reason why i bought this and i don't believe there are any good rookies in 1994 at least not that i can think of off the top of my head hopefully i can get these out of here without destroying them let me put my glasses on here so i know who's who So the top cards are stuck. Doesn't appear they're bricked up too bad. Mariano Duncan stuck to John Franco. I checked them there and could tell that for the most part they weren't too bricked up. There's uh, Bo Bichette's dad, Dante. He had a uh, a few years of some really good power numbers with the Rockies. Here's Tony Gwynn, Eddie Gardado, Brian Dorsett, Wally Whitehurst, Greg Harris, and this uh, this pack was five bucks, so I figured, why not? Here's Omar Vizquel. Eric Davis. I'll just put all the stars and Hall of Famers in one pack, or one stack, I should say. Vince Johnson. Rob Ducey still hanging on. Joe Orsalak. I wonder if this is still good. You think I should send that in to Tops and try to redeem it? <laughs> Uh, 1991 baseball pre-production card. Brian McRae, Ryan Bowen. Yeah, these are these are a little bit stuck, but luckily there's no paper loss. John Cruck. Oh, there we go. Hank Aaron, 715th home run anniversary. I didn't have that one, so that's a cool card. Appears to be in pretty good condition off center left to right, but it's a nice card. Kenny Rogers, Tim Salmon. Um, so is this uh, Lance Berkman's rookie card? Is he in in this year of tops? Not that it's a huge rookie card or anything. Pat Watkins draft pick. So there's supposed to be five gold cards in each pack, so I'm assuming that they will all be in this end pack here. Bill Swift, pretty good pitcher for a while. Storm Davis. Carlos Baerga, Arrestus Destrada, I remember he was a big deal. There's John Smoltz. Dave Hollins was hyped up there for a while in about 1990 or so. Woody Williams, good year for the Cardinals. Kevin Seitzer was a really good hitter when he first came up. He led the league in hits in 87 with 207 with a 323 batting average, but then he never really 
could match that level of production again. Mark Langston, Scott Radinsky. Okay, now here are some gold cards. Let's see. Coming Attractions, J.R. Phillips, and Rekert. Man, what is that name? Fignette. Never heard of either one of those. Robbie Thompson. Pretty good player for a while. Steve Finley. Oh, very cool. Here we go. Measures of Greatness, King Griffey Jr. Gold. I have this, uh, his regular version of this, but that's very cool. So that one will get uh, penny sleeved and top loadered, and uh, I'll look that up and see what kind of money it's worth and probably have it graded if it makes sense to do so because you guys know how much I love King Griffey Jr. So super cool card there. Dave Valley, I was a big fan of him as he was a catcher on the Mariners, so I love the Mariners growing up. Terry Steinbach, Juan Gon, Real Cormier, Bruce Ruffin, Steve Bedrosian, Russ Davis, and Brian Taylor. So this one would have been a huge one before Brian Taylor got into the bar brawl and screwed his shoulder all up. Number one overall draft pick back in the day. Measures of Greatness, Wade Boggs, John Burke, and Jason Bates. Neither one of those guys really did much. Rod Bolton and James Baldwin. James Baldwin was pretty good for a while. Desi Wilson and John Shave. So that rounds out the uh, 1994 uh, grocery pack, cello pack, hanger pack, whatever you want to call it. Not a bad stack of uh, stars and Hall of Famers. Super excited about the Griffey. That's awesome. That could have is really one of the best cards I could have hoped to pull that I'm aware of. Let me put my Leatherman back up here. All right, so I'm going to rip the four packs here. I'm going to rip the 90-91 Upper Deck Hockey first and get that out of the way because most of you all that watch my channel don't love hockey as much as I do. So here you've got a, a whole bunch of rookie cards. You've got uh, Yarmir, Yarmir Yager, Jeremy Roenick, Mike Madano, uh, let's see, uh, not Joe Sackick, but uh, who am I thinking of? can't think of his name off the top of my head for uh, Quebec. Not much so far. Yeah, that was kind of a, a dud pack. Larry Robinson's a Hall of Famer. But I think he's a Hall of Famer. But yeah, none of the, none of the rookie cards I would be looking for in this pack. But I have a whole box that I can rip through whenever I want. <laughs> and again, I've opened about, oh, I don't know, five boxes of this in the last few years. Here's 1990 Bowman. So I don't have the Frank Thomas rookie, which is probably the best card out of this set. If they have it, next time I go back to the antique store, I will buy the 91 Donruss or 91 Bowman box because there's some good stuff in there as far as junk wax era goes. Here's the sweepstakes card is uh, Bo Jackson. We got Scott Sanderson, Todd Zeal. This would have been a big one back then. Mark Davis, Billy Spears, Steve Bedrosian again, Scott Ruskin, Dennis Oil Cam Boyd, Bobby Bonilla, Rick Honeycutt, Randy Virus, Dutch, a.k.a. Darren Dalton, Ellis Burks, Lloyd McClendon, and Greg Hibbard. So, again, that was kind of a dud pack as well. So, next, I'll do 1990 score. Again, looking for the Bo Jackson. Oh, sorry. <laughs> my, uh, my, I guess the table shook when that pack ripped so my tripod fell over 
Hollywood level production on my channel, of course, as you all know. Tom Brunanski, we called him Bruno. Jose Okendo, so far a Cardinals pack. Rick Honeycutt. Scott Bryant. Drew Hall. Tim Leary. Brad Com Kamins Kaminsk. Kevin Hickey. Jack Howell. Dave Rigetti. Jeff Ballard. John Dobson. Bo Diaz. Mark Lemke. Randy Nosick and Jose Vizcaino. So that one would have been a big one back in the day. So that pack was a dud too. So next I will rip the 89 Donruss pack. And of course you guys know what I'm looking for in here. Let's see if I can get lucky and hit it out of one pack. And surprisingly, in a 10, because these are tough to get 10s in, King Griffey Jr.'s rookie card in a 10 is worth about 300 bucks. Ruben Sierra, Greg Harris, Ed Whitson, Mark Langston, Eric Hansen, right team, right colors, wrong player. Joe Bover, Mike Stanley, these are really off-center. Jose Guzman, Luis Medina, Alvin Davis, Marvell Wynn, Felix Jose, Randy Johnson. There we go. That'll work. Not a lot of value, but again, a Hall of Fame rookie card. And if you can get them in tens, they have a little bit of value to it. This doesn't look like it's going to be a ten. There's a. It's got a ding on that corner, and is that a print dot? Yeah, right there. But still, a nice card nonetheless. And then Dave Leeper. Leper will close it out. So there we go. No super amazing pulls from the uh, 90s junk wax extravaganza. Well, I guess 80s too with the 89 Bowman or 89 Donruss. I'm going to go ahead and flip this around and I'll close it out. All right, so that's just fun. Those, uh, those years are really nostalgic to me. I was really in my prime of ripping packs from about 87 to 93 or so then again like i said i tailed off a little bit in uh 99 and then in in 95 i left for uh air force basic in september so i kind of dropped off a little bit more in 95 so a lot of these a lot of the later years of the 90s i didn't have a lot of so that uh 94 tops grocery pack or whatever you want to call it I, this is the first one of these I've ever opened, and uh, I don't remember seeing these too often, but they're super cool because of the uh, the Topps Gold cards. So, I don't know, maybe I'll do like something like a Junk Wax Wednesday or uh, something where I'll go through and maybe rip part of one of these boxes, or, or maybe I'll just rip a couple packs before videos. Let me know what you guys think. What do you want to see in the comments? Maybe maybe you tell me I don't want to see a bunch of junk wax because that's exactly what that is. But again, I love it because that was right in my prime of, of ripping packs. And these upper deck hockey cards were the first year that I was ever able to get a hold of hockey cards growing up. So there's a lot of nostalgia there with those upper deck and then the pro set. I, I ripped a lot of pro set too and I still think they're cool cards like Every once in a while on eBay, I'll look for a Pro Set uh, second series from that year because that's Sergei Fedorov and, and Pavel Bure um, rookie cards are in that second series. So I just enjoy ripping, ripping packs. And as you all know, I love baseball cards. I love talking about baseball cards. So let me know in the comments. Do you want you know a regular thing where I rip junk wax packs? Or do you want me to just rip a pack or two before I do every video? Or do you really just not care and don't want to see junk wax? And if that's the case, then that's fine too. Um, but I have it and I'm going to rip it. It's just a matter of when. So I guess I'll wrap it up. Like I said, I don't know if I'll get this one out. Today is Sunday. I don't know if I'll get it out today, maybe Monday, maybe Tuesday. Just depends on how, how busy everything is. Um, but again, I picked it up and wanted to go ahead and get an extra video out this week. Again, I apologize that I didn't take any video 
at the actual antique store, but I forget to do that because I'm so in, in hunt mode that I forget. And I actually had my camera out and set up to film some video at the front part in the, in the cases where I filmed last time, but it was pretty busy up there. So I didn't. And then I forgot. And then we were driving back home and I told my wife, I was like, I forgot to film any video there. So I definitely need to work on that and, and get better at uh, just filming video about whatever's going on, you know, whatever I'm looking at. And there were, there were, this guy's got probably five or six different spots at least set up through this antique store where he has cards set up. Um, there's a, there's a, a cello box of 1990 tops there for I think 75 bucks. Um, I think it was 85 last time we went there and there were two of them. There's one left. So let me know if you think 75 bucks seems like a good deal for a, a cello box of 1990 tops because allegedly that's where the no name on front comes from and a lot of the blacklist and partial blacklist cards out of the 1990 top set are found in cello packs. And again, I pulled one when I was a kid, but I can't remember if it came out of a cello pack or, or what it came out of. And I don't have it anymore and, and have no idea what I did with it. So I don't know if that's true, if that's what they actually come out of or not, but let me know if you think that's a fair price. And if you do, next time I go in there, maybe I'll pick that up. But there are a whole lot more packs and a whole lot more boxes he had uh, complete sets in there. I actually thought about getting an 89 Bowman box or an 89 Bowman complete set. Um, again, 1991 Bowman, like just a lot of stuff. If he would have had, there was a 1991 upper deck box in there, baseball that I would have bought because I'd really like to find that Michael Jordan SP1 because uh, I've never owned that card, but I want to say he wanted about 45 or 50 bucks for it and I just didn't want to pay that much for it. So next time I go there, I'll do a better job of getting video and then let me know what you guys think that I should pick up from there and let me know if there are any rips of any of that junk wax era type stuff that you would like to see. Again, because I, I love it. You can see all those shelves up there are full of junk wax boxes that I've ripped since, I don't know, 2018 or 19. So I'm starting to ramble on again. I will go ahead and wrap it up at that. Um, but again, thanks everyone for the support and I hope everybody has a good one. Until the next one, I'll talk to you later.